Have you ever wondered what the difference is between a cruise missile and a ballistic missile? Today we're going to demystify that for you. We will explore what each of these missiles are, their unique capabilities, and the different platforms from which they're launched. We'll also touch on their range and speed and discuss their development and deployment. So, if you're curious about these high-tech weapons that have shaped modern warfare, you're in the right place. Stick around as we delve deep into the world of missiles. First things first, what exactly is a cruise missile? A cruise missile is a guided missile used against terrestrial targets that remains in the atmosphere and flies the major portion of its flight path at approximately constant speed. They've been around since World War II with their development primarily driven by the need for precision. These missiles are designed to deliver a large warhead over long distances with high precision. Now that we understand cruise missiles, let's turn our attention to their counterpart, the ballistic missile. In contrast to cruise missiles, what do we mean when we say ballistic missile? Well, ballistic missiles are essentially guided projectiles that follow a ballistic trajectory towards their target. They were first conceived during World War II, but it was the Cold War that saw their development skyrocket. These missiles are launched straight up into space, then fall back down to Earth, guided onto their targets with incredible precision. With an understanding of what these missiles are, we can now explore their capabilities. Though they may seem similar, cruise and ballistic missiles have distinct capabilities. Cruise missiles, with their ability to hug the terrain and change course mid-flight, excel in precision and stealth. On the other hand, ballistic missiles arcing high above the atmosphere boast speed and range, covering vast distances in a short span of time. But they come with a downside. Once launched, their trajectory can't be altered. These capabilities, however, rely heavily on the platform from which they are launched. The launching platform of a missile can greatly impact its effectiveness. Cruise missiles, versatile in their deployment, can be launched from land, air and sea platforms. This versatility allows for strategic placement and swift response times. Ballistic missiles, on the other hand, are traditionally launched from silos or submarines. These fixed or underwater launch sites ensure the missile's protection until launch, enhancing its survival prospects. The choice of platform directly influences the missile's range and speed. Now that we understand how these missiles are launched, let's look at their range and speed. Range and speed are crucial factors in the effectiveness of a missile. Cruise missiles being slower and having shorter ranges are typically used for tactical purposes. They can fly close to the ground, evading radar detection. On the other hand, ballistic missiles with their blistering speed and vast range are strategic weapons. These missiles can reach anywhere on the globe, delivering their payload with frightening accuracy. So, after understanding all these aspects, what's the final verdict? Cruise or ballistic, which missile reigns supreme? Each missile has its own strengths. Cruise missiles, with their versatile launching platforms and terrain-hugging flight paths, are known for their precision. Ballistic missiles, on the other hand, boast incredible range and speed. They soar high into space before plummeting towards their targets at breakneck speeds. But remember, the true power of any missile lies in how it's utilized. The choice between a cruise and a ballistic missile depends on the mission at hand. Each has its unique strengths and weaknesses, making them invaluable tools in modern warfare. 